Hey, what's up guys? It's Friday and we have some epic news to talk about. A 12.1.4 exploit as well as some major A12 jailbreak progress and news has happened, so only great things to come. So before we start, like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page on Best Tech Info to be notified the second the uncovered jailbreak utility is updated for the latest devices. So first up, I wanted to talk about the sandbox exploit that was released for iOS 12.1.4 and below. Yes, you heard me right. We now have our very first exploit for iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 firmwares. Now I mainly wanted to clarify exactly what this release means and not blow this out of proportion. So to give it to you straight, this alone will not lead to a jailbreak for these firmwares. We would still need a kernel level exploit that gives us root access to the file system for tweaks and Cydia and Substrate to run. This, however, is a great first step in the right direction towards a jailbreak. It proves once again that there are still vulnerabilities in Apple's latest operating system versions that can be exploited. And while this exploit alone can only lead to minor system modifications, something like what Torngat or Houdini achieved, this proves it is and always will be possible to hack iOS and eventually have a jailbreak for the newer firmwares that come out. So that in a nutshell is exactly what this exploit powered is all about. About. It's for iOS 12.1.4 and below as it was patched in 12.2, and currently it only works on A11 devices and below. So nothing yet for A12 devices officially, but as we'll talk about later in this video, some awesome progress by Pwn has been made over the past five days since I've made an update. But before we get into that awesome news, I just wanted to let everyone know that iOS 12.1.4 is no longer being signed for any devices, so it's no longer possible to downgrade to that firmware. So that being the case, if you are on iOS 12.1.3 or 12.1.4, just stay there for now and be patient. Again, if you're on iOS 12 to 12.1.2 and you have an A12 device, again, just stay there. The jailbreak will be coming very soon for you guys. Do not update to 12.1.3 or 12.1.4, and definitely do not update to iOS 12.2. So guys, we have an exploit for 12.1.3 and 12.1.4, only good things to come for those firmwares in the near future, but again, today is the very first step, and this marks the very first exploit that we have for these firmwares. All right, let's get directly into the A12 jailbreak news. I'm sure that's what a lot of people are here for and are very excited to jailbreak their iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the latest 2018 iPad Pros. So for this part of the video, definitely sit back and relax. I'm going to catch everybody up with the latest news and updates from Pwn. There have been quite a few and quite a few developments and changes since I made my last update. So very first off, about a week ago, roughly five days I guess, Pwn to own has bootlooped his A12 device, meaning he had to update to 12.1.4 and could no longer work on the A12 jailbreak on his actual personal physical device. So that began kind of a widespread panic and a bunch of donation pages coming up for Pwn to own to get a new device on A12, on 12 to 12.1.2. Again, he says, I've lost my A12 testing device, but I haven't lost interest in jailbreaking A12. And basically at the time, Time he gave out this update as well. He says, what's left for the A12, A12X support, Cydia Substrate needs to be updated, and the unrestrict library needs to be updated as well. Well, here is where things get very interesting. Pwn to Own tweeted out this saying, shout out to Kirillium HQ for giving me access to their amazing platform. This means now that I'll be able to test Uncover on any device running any firmwares. And basically, Kirillium HQ has been working on a project to virtually run any iPhone on any iOS version. And this is going to allow Pwn to Own to test his jailbreak utility on a virtual device. So even if he boot loops it, he'll be able to create a new one immediately. 
And this is just going to be awesome for stability and support. If any widespread issue happens on any specific device, on any specific firmware, Pwned Own will be able to create that device virtually on that firmware and test it to try to reproduce said widespread issues. So hopefully this will lead to some awesome stability with the A12 jailbreak as well. But long story short, after the couple day scare right there, things are back on track and Pwned Own is working working hard at it again, updating the uncovered jailbreak utility for A12. So, since that update, where are we at now? Well, very quickly, Ponta Own got his jailbreak utility running on said virtual platform, and just as of yesterday, it sounds like the unrestricted libraries have been patched and updated to work on A12 on 12.1.2. And this right here was the tweet updating us on that news. He says he's just updated the unrestricted library for ARM 64E devices and tested most of it on a virtualized iPhone XS on 12.1.2. I'll be able to fully test it as soon as Substrate is updated, which leads me to the final point in this video. What is left now? Cydia Substrate needs to be updated for the A12 ARM 64E devices. That is literally the last step we are waiting for, guys. Sorg has to officially update Substrate for A12 devices for the jailbreak utility to run successfully on A12. Anyway, literally one piece of the puzzle left to go, guys. I know it has been a struggle. It's been quite a bit longer than a lot of people were thinking, but progress is still being made. Amazing progress at that. We just have to be patient and wait a couple more days, maybe a week or two, and Substrate will be updated and the full jailbreak utility will be out for the A12 devices. But just really interesting updates this week. Like I said, some awesome A12 updates. It sounds like Pwned Own is still working on stability updates for the entire jailbreak utility itself. It sounds like he successfully fixed the issue in iOS that caused the jailbreak to be disabled overnight. Um, apparently, just one hour ago, Pwn tweeted out this saying, it seems like Apple broke the method that Substrate was using to prevent the system from crashing under low memory conditions. This may explain why I iOS 12 had stability issues that were not present on iOS 11. So he hasn't quite updated the utility publicly to address these changes, but I'm guessing with the release of the A12 support, all of these stability changes will be present for previous iOS devices as well. Anyway, guys, we are almost there for a full-fledged iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak utility for all devices that can run iOS 12. This has just been an incredible journey updating you guys. Thank you so much for the support that everyone has given us here on the channel. I really hope you guys are excited for the A12 jailbreak, as well as a potential iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 jailbreak in the near future. Anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Again, bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page on Best Tech Info if you guys want to be updated and notified the second the jailbreak utility is updated for your devices. Again, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. Very lastly, before you guys head out, earlier this week, I did an awesome Top Tweaks video with some of the latest and greatest tweaks available for the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 jailbreak. There's a ton of incredible stuff coming out for this jailbreak, guys. This has been the biggest tweak release I've seen in a long time, and the jailbreak is still in beta stages. So this is going to be just an incredible jailbreak season, guys. If you're looking for some awesome new stuff to install, definitely check out that video I posted earlier this week. We'll link it down below in this video's description as well as in your cards now. All right, so first up we have the Maple Beta, which brings the air power charging animation to the iPhone whenever it's plugged in or on a wireless charger. And check this out, guys. This is the craziest part of the tweak. If I take something like my AirPods, and look at this, I love the engraving that's on this. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and place those on the wireless charger right here. And if I pull down my notifications one more time, as you guys can see, AirPods are now showing up there as well. And I'm sure this will work with the Apple Watch too. I just don't have it down here with me.
Anyway, guys, that one's called Maple Beta, and I'm sure some awesome updates are going to be coming to it very soon. All right, so next up we have Shuffle, which basically reorganizes the settings app. As you guys can see, we have tweaks right there, so we can jump into the tweak settings right at the top. We have other pre-installed apps as well as system apps, and as you guys can see, just a lot less clutter, and it's a really quick way to jump into your tweak settings right at the top. And again, this one is called Shuffle. All right, so next up we have quite a few music tweaks to talk about. This one called Mashuda Infinity basically updates Mashuda for iOS 12, so you can have this awesome music visualizer in Spotify. It's also, I guess not in the control center, but on the home screen as well. 